tell me what that game was about. I had to find out the hard way. Three, it was clean. Two, Going one, to the first game right go. now, Ling Ling versus Jewel. Yeah, I don't know if I like this song. Yeah, <laughs> just wait till it gets to the DDLC part. All right. And you're like, oh. I was gonna. All right, well, we'll see what happens here. It just seems like we're like having a walk in the park, park situation right now. I feel like it's a real match, it's like they're just practicing, like they're stretching. You know? Is this what you're talking about with the piano? Yeah. <laughs> you can't unhear it once you do. I really, yeah, I didn't even know this track was in here, man. Like, I'm playing Vampire Hunter all day. All right, off stage already one no two. Ling Ling took control, but the fair. Dang. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, there we go. So yeah, off stage is just murder right now for uh, for Jewel. Um, uh, okay, you are looking for parry situations there. Having a hard time controlling the stage right now. I'm not seeing. Um, yeah, there goes there goes the projectiles. Yeah, be a punish. There we go. Wow, even um, the regular Thunders are having a hard time hitting uh, Peach when she's floating. She barely misses. Okay, very nice chase there. I should kill. Oh, I, I thought that would kill. So much stun on those moves, man. Oh, yes, she did. Very nice. Weaving in and out, being tricked with the movement, gets him the first stock, but already off stage. Uh, no. What are you gonna do? Yeah, fair. Wow, fair into the uh, nair immediately. I thought he was gonna escape from that as soon as that happened, but a little bit late on the late on that for Jewel. All right, and there you go. That move right there, the up air, is gonna be really great against a Peach trying to come from above. Nice throw. He tried to throw him into the. To his uh, toss weapon, I guess, is what's going on there. Wow, that's fair. 160% critical mass. Uh oh. Oh, wow, very lucky. Is that Stitch Face? Nope, but the up air does get the deal. Seals the deal there, 180%. I kind of going to slow down this game, because I feel like that's what needs to happen right now. He needs to make uh, Ling Ling chase him more. Good conversions here, a nice grab. Oh god, this is it. Uh, nice try. Ooh, no, you didn't. That completely flipped its head right there. I think he was trying to end the stock in the game very quickly, and he almost had it. Uh, nice try there by Jules trying to play dance a little bit, but the fair comes through. And seals the deal for the first game. He, was, he had a little bit of life lighted in the tunnel there. Um, I think he ran to, I think he got hit by fair a little bit too much, to be honest with you. That move is pretty slow. But uh, the ability of Ling the League the, to, you know, weave in and out and just stick on Jewel when he got the, first, the initial hit was pretty pivotal there. Pivotal there, And you can see Ling Ling had a really good understanding of, you know, hey, uh, Robin's up B, Robin's recovery, you can mess with that. So, you know, just keep on, if he keeps on doing that, he's going to get a lot of chance for early kills. I think that's the key there. Um, but what is Jewel thinking right now? What is he going to pick? I think uh, Smashville's already banned for the second game. We're moved off the list. All right. Deliberating. Going back to PS2, it looks like. I feel like they're relatively evenly matched. Um, it's just that, you know, that offstage situation and you know, being put in the corner and forced to deal with affairs and everything was a big situ a big problem. Come on, not this. This level, this music, get I feel like we need a TO specifically for, like, the music or, like, a judge or something. Like, isn't there, like, a tier list for music for this game? Like, music C tier and lower, you can't pick. I go for the juggles. Definitely noticed something from the earlier game. Ooh, that was so nice. Jules definitely looking a lot better in his movement right now. Uh-oh. 
grab? No? Okay. That was so, such, a, such good item play. Like, Ling Ling, Ling, Ling had to respect that space, gave, giving uh, um, Jewel time to charge. Oh, don't get hit by that. Alright. Wow. Alright, looks like Jewel has a little bit of a lead now. Okay, side B. Fakes the um, the grab attempt and gets him, gets him off the stage. Ling Ling, critical mass. 120. Alright, he took too long, got burned a little bit. We can read in the roll. That's a good punish right there. Forcing um, Ling Ling to consider going off the stage early because those arc fires really make you want to roll. And what, you know, where he was standing, that was not an option. All right, 90%. Wow, a combo! 32%. Yeah, no, and Robin's a scary character, man. These are the things that you have to be careful of. But then, also, it's like, I know I don't know if Lin Ling's ever played a Robin. And I know it's Smash 4 for sure, but, you know, in this game? Yeah, man. He already won the first game, and the reason why he did, he did such a great job of forcing Jewel to be in those bad situations on the ledge uh, and off stage, and he's not getting any of that right now because Jewel's movement has significantly improved since the first game. I know, and you did mention that before. Like, you know, one thing that you really like about him is like his movement. So, ooh. oh, oh, good, good try and snipe. very, very good, fair, good attempt to snipe. Keep in mind, his books are running out. <laughs> yeah, he's and the way he uses items, like when he when the sword uh, is um. Using the sword in, in an item way, like in, I'm sorry, in a way to kind of control space while he charges behind it. It's been really working very well. That shield is looking like an m, &M right now. Oh my gosh. That was so close. Are we going to grab that? Yeah, of course we are. We're an item player. That was good. Notice, hey, he actually dropped the stitch. Oh, oh my. so good. Great he was not ready. He did not think he was going to go out there and get him. And this is, and this is only winners, winners round four, man. Like, this is a 180 from the first game. Like, Jewel was getting mauled. Yeah. Oh wow, actually, good down tilt actually. She actually crouched through that. Which Yo, is... look at these short hops. All right, we're, <laughs> we're, playing, we're playing hot potato over here with the book. Yo. Oh my god. Let's go, Jewel. This is actually so good, man. Oh, this is bus ass. Let's go. All right. Oh, that, that was, was an amazing 180 in the first game. Now, does it keep you? I, I'm not sure if it keeps you in uh, Arc Fire longer in this game. Like, you know how like Ness's uh, PK Fire kind of yeah. got buffed? So it keeps you in there longer, uh, or it's harder to get out. I'm not sure if Arc Fire is, has the same properties now. It's um, a good question. I, I honestly don't know. Because yeah, literally, like, he he was struggling to get out. Yeah, that, that smash was free with him. Yeah, he made he made Ling Ling chase her. First of all, Peach isn't that fast. Mm -hmm. um, she's got controlling an area, but the area moves slowly for horizontally because this is how it is for her. And he took advantage of the fact that she was always airborne. So a lot of these moves, aerials were just popping her back up over and over again. And um, his item play was especially. They were legitimately play. I don't know if you noticed that, but the but the yellow book. I guess that's the Arc Thunder book. Yeah. Um, that it was there for like for like a good eight seconds. It was on the stage, and it did not disappear because they kept on catching it. Yeah, um, that's Because you know, because you can you can use tilt to to, to uh, for item play now. Yeah. That, you can throw it and stuff like that, but. But I mean, uh, what, do you think we're gonna see a counter pick here for stages or not? You know what? I I don't think so. Um. I just think he needs to do what he did in game one. Um, he did not take, there was a clear um, difference between the way he attempted to edge guard Ling um, Jewel in the first game. He was more aggressive doing that. That was non-existent in game two. And I feel like he does that, he'll get back in the game. He was trying to resort to just turn ups in game two and he was missing them a lot. Jewel was doing a good job of, of moving around from that. Okay, okay, so he basically relieved pressure from Jewel. I yeah. mean, but this is the thing, it's, it is Robin, so Robin's always been a character that... Oh, God, please, I almost... Um, short Hop Thunder. Check that out in this in this match, because he's starting to use that a lot more to punish um, Lin Ling for jumping and using her um, her arsenal. Okay, okay, no, for sure, for sure. But keep in mind, this is Robin, so this is a character that you want to stay in his face, but he doesn't really have a lot of get off options. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that Ling Ling kind of just noticed that he's noticed how 82% of it. Yeah, threw him into the, into the sword. This stage is pretty big, too. I, I feel like that benefits um, Robin a lot as well. Punish? Yeah, yeah because you can, you, uh, you know, Jewel has a space to, to play the keep away game now, and that's what Robin kind of wants to do. 
He has his, he has his swords for the kills. Ooh. Wow, I went upward. That's weird. He did forward smash, didn't he? Wow. Good read on the yeah. jump. Unfortunately, not dying yet. That's actually very smart. And Jules actually purposely burning the book. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, oh Boron! Holy Let's go! Sitaki mushrooms! Yep, yeah, that, that's that's what I was thinking. That's the word I was going to use. Let's keep it Disney here, okay, guys? <laughs> my God! <laughs> that was Yo. disgusting! Yo, my man is... Like, rewriting the book on this character. Like... I'm going I'm I'm to purposely use my, my arsenal so I get this book ready to go and set you up for this this beam. Yeah, no, and I mean, the, the item play, man. Item play is definitely a thing. And us, beautiful back in the <laughs> The last thing he says is arc fire before he dies. It's really a nice, nice uh, situation there. That was, mm, I don't even care if he wins anymore, man. Like, that was sick. Oh, all right. Uh, okay. Here we go. Here we go with the peach combo. Combo city. 57, 57 already. Where was the lead? <laughs> it's like... Like, where was the lead? Gained the lead. Lost the lead. <laughs> All right, he's out of shield options. are doing very well for him. Leaning back at the fair. And the second the second stock is always, like, kind of, I would say the second stock is always the most important stock mentally, you know? Because once your opponent only has one stock left and you're up to, you're up another stock, you're like, okay, this is it. You know, like, we played, we played four years with two stocks. I know I can do this. <laughs> All right, good job. Ling Ling's moving around. From these options here. Okay, oh, good he actually coverage. read it too. Yeah, no, good coverage. Oh my god, does that kill? No, 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 not yet. But the next one definitely will. And keep in mind, Peach, if Peach has a weakness, it would definitely be swords, Wow. Which Robin does have. Yo, he's worried about that sword, man. A punish? Yeah, that fair. Oh, that was so oh! Side B, not gonna do it. Alright, watch the stitch. Watch the stitch face. Bling, that was, so that was sick. disgusting. That was so sick. And he still has the stitch face. That's the best part. Not, any, not anymore. Fortunately, had to drop it in order to recover. Alright, 132. But does not get any advantage off the stock. We're basically we're, tied, guys. Yo, we're tied. It's 1 1. Winner moves on, loser gets sent to loser. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't need to explain to you guys how a tournament goes. Wow, but what? Where the stakes are up, already 30% on Ling Ling. But it's okay, because one Peach combo can easily make this up. Yeah, really. Exhibit A. <laughs> Nothing gonna get punished, nothing. Oh, I'm, okay. surprised he, okay, I'm surprised he didn't turn around and grab it. Okay. Good punish by Ling Ling. Yeah, he's going to have to worry about those backers out of shield. He's going to have to find a way to space better on that. For sure. I noticed how he's mixing up his movement. He's, he's approaching Oh, my God. <gasps> I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> he's approaching Jewel from different angles to keep Jewel guessing. Oh, that's a, that's a punish. He's in trouble. Oh, no. Is it? Is that it? And Very Jewel nice. takes it over Ling Ling. Very nice. My God, this kid's insane. That movement is so clean. I can see why you guys picked him up. <laughs> so I can see why Wes picked him up. I didn't even know it was happening. Like, it's like, he just, it's like what? <laughs> that was insane. Yeah. Beautiful play by Jules. Yeah, man. I feel like Jewel identified that because um, you saw the way he was throwing projectiles, always aiming for the space in the air. He wasn't trying to aim for the projectiles on the ground. He was like that space in the air where he thinks Ling Ling is going to be, Ling Ling is going to be floating. Yeah. And that's where those conversions came from. Like every time he put him in disadvantage and pushed him away, he kept on pushing it, throwing a hitbox in the air because he knew that Ling Ling was going to try to reset advantage by floating. 